What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and welcome to the Keep It Techie channel. And today we're veering a bit into the privacy lane. And what we're talking about is an email service that's been a game changer for privacy focused individuals. And that's ProtonMail. But not just ProtonMail itself, we're diving into its desktop application on Ubuntu 22.04. So if you've been on a hunt for a secure private email client that respects your data, well, buckle up. We're about to get into why ProtonMail desktop app might just be your next install. So let's get to it. All right, so Proton is this Swiss-based company known for its privacy-centric suite. I'm talking about like email, VPNs, drives, and even a password manager. But today's store is Proton Mail and its desktop application. Now, if you're wondering, Josh, what's the big deal with an email client? I have one already. I use Thunderbird. You recommended Thunderbird to me. Well, hold on to your keyboard because this is not just any email client. Proton Mail dances to its own tune using a secure protocol that's all about keeping your email under lock and key away from prying eyes. So this means no setting up with Outlook or Thunderbird. You get a dedicated space for your emails free from the distractions of a web browser and for the longest time because I've been using it for a minute you've only been able to use it in the web but ever since this app has come out it's been a game changer and another cool thing about it it doesn't matter if you're team Linux like me or Windows or maybe Mac OS Proton Mail has a desktop application for all three platforms and so today I figured I would go through and show you guys how to get it installed on Ubuntu 22.04. There are two types of Linux packages out there. There's the dev package as well as a RPM package. And let me quickly hop over there to show you how to get it. So all you have to do is hit the download button here on the top menu. And as you can see, you can download Proton Mail. And this is that application. And since I'm on a Linux system, it's gonna show download for Linux. It recognizes that I'm, I'm on a Linux desktop. But if you're using Windows, it'll show Windows. And if you're using Mac OS, it'll show Mac OS. But if we click this down arrow, you'll see we have two different packages. Like I said, those dev packages for Ubuntu, Debian based systems, and then the RPM package for Fedora or Red Hat or Rail based distros that are out there. And I'm not trying to advertise for Proton, but they do have an app as well. And I use the Android app, it's super cool. It works good on my phone. So I can access my email from anywhere. And you have that peace of mind knowing that the email is secure. All right, so enough about that. Let's go on and get to the install. And I'm gonna show you guys on Ubuntu 22.04, this is a very easy process. If you've installed a dev package in the past, it's pretty much the same or an RPM. Like I said, I'm gonna show you guys that dev package when you run to. So let's get to it. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, so I'm logged into my virtual machine and this is Ubuntu 22.04. I'm super excited about 24.04. Can't wait to see that distro once it's released, you know. But anyway, let's go down and get ProtonMail installed. All right, so the first thing we need to do is open up our browser. Let me use Chromium. And then let's go to Proton.me. And then all we have to do is click on email and then hit the download button and then download for Linux and you can click the down arrow because it doesn't know specifically that you're on Ubuntu it just knows that you're on Linux so we have to pick which one we want so we're going to download the dev package because that's what we need for Debian based systems all right now once that's done we can open up this directory hold on let's click back up here and we can open up this directory go down and close it and as you can see it's in our downloads directory so let's go down and open up the terminal because this is the way you need to get the dev package installed now you can easily install it using a GUI you just right click on it 
hit open with software install and that will install it via the software center but i'm gonna show you guys from the command line it's not that difficult to do all you gotta do is type one command out and it will install a package so first thing we need to do is go into that downloads directory so let's get in that directory and then we have to use sudo but it's sudo deep package so dpkg and then space dash i and then the package name which is that proton mail desktop beta and if you guys didn't know this is a beta right now but it should work on your system and it's cool to test out this software and that way you can report bugs if there are any bugs within the application but based on my experience it has worked with no problems so let's go down and get it installed so all we got to do is press enter this is the full command so sudo d package dash i and then the package name that'll install our dev package and then we could type in our sudo password press enter now go down and install proton mail for us and it, it shouldn't take too long but i'll skip ahead so you guys ain't got to sit here and watch the terminal go through the full process of getting it installed so be back in a second all right so the install didn't take too long it basically finished after i stopped talking a couple seconds after that so we're good to go let's go to my exit out of the terminal we don't need that anymore as well as our file explorer in order to find it it all depends on what version of ubuntu you're using if you're using the known version now all you had to do is hit the start menu and search for it in there but same for xfce just hit the little start button the little mouse button and search for proton so there we go so proton mail let's go to open that up and this is what you'll go through when you first open up the application it'll go through a login screen obviously like any other client so you have to log into it and i'll just go down log into one of my accounts and if you guys want to email me on here it's keep it techie at proton.me and then i'll skip this part typing in my password but you just type in your password here hit sign in you get to go and you can also create an account here it'll open up the browser allow you to create an account and then come back here log in and you're good to go so I'll be back in a sec all right so that took me some time because i got a very long password i want to make sure i type it in correctly that's why i went on and paused for a second so i could type it all in i i try to have a long password for this uh email account and for a majority of my email accounts i have very long passwords and also use a password manager like i recommend to all you guys in other videos you should always use a password manager that way you can create some random passwords and all that good stuff but let's go down and sign in right fast so let's hit sign in and hopefully i typed it in right it looks like i did yeah i did so yeah and there you have it right there it'll pop up with some ads because they want you to upgrade to the higher tiers for like data and all that other stuff so just ignore that the 500 megabyte you know email account is good because i don't recommend this being your main you know email account that you use you know what i'm saying i mean I, I mainly use it for specific things things that i want to be encrypted things that i want to be secure and no one to actually see it except the person that i'm sending it to you know what i'm saying and so let's get past this ad right fast and then we're good to go and then you can go in you know it's a whole bunch of like little settings and that's just like on the web and like i said this is a beta just so you guys know so it won't have everything but it'll look pretty good for the desktop as far as just a, a simple mail reader. And they got a couple options in here just to go through it. You can clear application data. You can look at the logs. You can quit the edit, you know, undo your normal edit stuff, cut, copy, paste, view. You can make it look a certain way. You can zoom in, zoom out you can give it the actual size you can force it to reload you can reload as well from here and then windows yeah, that's just your normal option so minimize close zoom you know i like that stuff and then one other cool thing you got access to you a few of your apps so you got your calendar app so you can click on that that'll take you to the calendar you can go back to your mail and then also you got links over here so your proton calendar that'll bring it up on the side you know and show you today's meetings or whatever or events that you have set up and then also your contacts and then also your security center so this will allow you to create aliases and all kind of stuff you know enable two-factor authentication and pretty much any and everything you could do on the website and so there you have it your very own fortnite for emails right on your ubuntu desktop 
like I said, it's easy to install, easy to use, and you have that privacy that you can trust. Now, remember, Proton Mail isn't just about sending emails. It's about reclaiming your right to privacy in the digital world. And I hope this guy helps you get started with Proton Mail desktop app. If you got any questions or hit a snag during the installation, drop a comment down below. I'm here to help. And if you're digging this kind of content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the Keep It Techie channel. Your support means we can keep diving into Linux, privacy, and everything in between. Until next time, stay curious, stay techie, and most importantly, stay private. This is Josh signing off. Peace.